One of the things that makes Santa Rosa so special is it's so rich in history. And as a city council, and I think as a community, one of the things that's really important to us is to preserve that history. So when you begin to look at the history of Santa Rosa, one of the first things that comes to your mind is the round barn. And de depending on your point of reference, it's the first thing you see when you come into the community and the last thing you see when you go out. So as a council or as a community leader, it's really important for me to, to see that that's preserved. It is with great honor and respect that I come before you today, the first American president ever to address the Japanese diet. Your people stretch your abilities to the limit. And when an entire nation does this, miracles occur. Being a Californian, I have seen many miracles hardworking Japanese have brought to our shores. In 1865, a young samurai student, Kaniye Nagasawa, left Japan to learn what made the West economically strong and technologically advanced. Ten years later, he founded a small winery at Santa Rosa, California, called the Fountain Grove Round Barn and Winery. Soon he became known as the Grape King of California. Nagasawa came to California to learn and stayed to enrich our lives. Both our countries owe much to this Japanese warrior turned businessman. Kanaye Nagasawa was one of the first Japanese to come to the United States. He was a member of a noble family of the Satsuma clan, and in 1865, at the age of 12, was smuggled out of Japan with 14 other students. They were sent to Europe against the orders of the emperor to learn the ways of the Western world. While in London, Nagasawa met Thomas Lake Harris, the leader of a utopian group called the Brotherhood of the New Life. In 1875, Nagasawa accompanied Harris to Santa Rosa, intent on living in peace and harmony and creating their idea of paradise on earth and established the Fountain Grove community. Nagasawa was the father's right-hand man and learned the art of viticulture and winemaking. When Harris left Santa Rosa in 1891 under a cloud of scandal, it was Nagasawa who came to inherit the ranch and the winery. Nagasawa became proprietor of the 1,500 acres of vineyards and the successful winery. He loved to gather influential townspeople around him and became famous for his lavish dinner parties, earning the distinctive title, the Baron of Fountain Grove. In about 1899, Nagasawa had the round barn built with redwood from the Guerneville sawmill. The stalls, arranged in a circular pattern, accommodated the workhorses used in the vineyards. When Nagasawa died in 1934, the property was sold and years later resold. The grapevines from which world-famous wines were made had been torn out to make room for cattle, and over the years, most of the structures have either burned or collapsed from lack of care. All that remains is the towering round barn. It's an interesting old barn. The shape, of course, makes it unique. Also, it's been all these years the only sign visible to the public of a unique kind of high-class commune founded to show the world the pathway to salvation. Although the barn was built several years after the self-styled Messiah Thomas Lake Harris left Fountain Grove, it was one of the buildings in the original plans that were designed to be taken directly into the celestial sphere come the millennium. There have been a few scattered efforts over the years to save the barn from meeting the same fate as the other original buildings, but no one has been able to come up with a plan to both save the round barn and make it an exciting destination point. But as this rare structure faces its second century, there is renewed hope for the survival of the Fountain Grove round barn. <laughs>